right guys and welcome back to this new episode. Today we're going to be working on this beautiful flowering bush. This right here is actually a Patricia and tea tree. Today we'll be finding the design of the tree. We're also going to be finding the front and we're going to get to wire it. And also if we get the chance to do so, we're also going to try to repot it in this little training pot. Alright, so let's get started. So what we're going to do first is that we're actually going to clean up some of these branches in order to come up with an actual design of the tree and finding the main branches that we're going to be utilizing today. So first we're going to go ahead and just clean off some of the branches. We first want to go ahead and get rid of those that are pointing up and any branches that seem a little bit too weak. So as we begin to actually take off some of these branches we begin to see how little by little this bush takes a little bit of shape I won't be getting rid of any of the actual main branches right here like stronger ones just because I do want to at least be able to see which branches I can use for a certain model all right so I did not clean much however um, it might not be so visible on the camera, but for me, I can actually get a field of view of the main branches right here. Some branches that I can utilize for the design and some other ones that I can't. So what I always like to do is that I do like to sketch out a basic, uh, a basic picture or like I want to say a basic map of how I want the tree to look like in the future and what branches I need to remove and also what branches I'm going to be able to keep in order for me to come up with the design that I want. All right, so what we're going to do now is that I want to be able to find that Nibari. So trying to figure out what that root base starts. So for that, I'm going to use this uh, root raker just to get inside the pot. And as I rake, you can come in closer. So we want to be able to find that root base right there. And in this case, as you can see, it's actually right there. I'm going to continue looking around just to see how the Navari is developed. And sometimes you will encounter some actual uh, roots all the way up here, but the Navari will not really start all the way until the bottom. So as I expose them, you begin to see that these right here are actually in a good position. So going out from what I can see right here, I would actually begin to make my sketch. But in order to begin my sketch, what I need to do first is that I need to find the front of the tree. and. I can see the Navari coming inwards just like this from right here and it has two major roots at this point right here so I guess what I can do is that I can have this right here as my front and a good way to mark your front is by just simply grabbing like a piece of wire or a piece of wood and then just putting it like so that way you know where your front is so I marked it this right here will be the front of the tree just like that and then I can actually begin um, looking at my sketch that I have already made right over here. And then we can start figuring out which branches I can cut off from the design of the tree. And we're going to go ahead and start off with that right now. We're going to get rid of the branches and then we're going to go on to wiring. All right. So looking at the sketch right here and also the tree, I decided to move uh, my front just a little bit to the right right here. And what that would help us do is that from right here I want to be able to keep this branch and I'm going to be removing everything that is from the side right over here so everything must go but I'm only going to be keeping this one and the main leading branch so we're going to go ahead and proceed on removing all of these branches and I'm going to do that with my branch cutters and like I have said in my previous videos I do like to propagate my trees so either so I can probably even just use these branches as cutting so that I can actually come up with another uh, future tree. And we're also going to go ahead and clean up over here. I might just keep these ones right here for now so that it can help thicken the trunk a little bit. Uh, and I do have some little ones over here that would also help with that process. Notice what I did right here. I do have the marking that this is the front of the tree. And I do have this branch. This branch right here is not actually right over here, kind of like a split trunk. It's more towards the back. The reason why I actually decided to leave on the branch right here is because we do want to create that depth of field. If I were off having that branch right about here, all you would be able to see is something like this. 
But the fact that I do have the branch slightly towards the back, like this, creates a good depth of field from the back. So what we're going to do now is um, proceeding on doing the branch selection. And then as soon as we're finished with that, we're going to do the wiring. So you always want to be able to work from the bottom to the top. And now that we are at the top right over here, we're going to go ahead and proceed in looking at what we have up here in the branches. So from the image below, I do have these branches right here coming up this way. And I can see that this one right here is actually, actually doesn't fall into the design. So what I can do is that I can actually get rid of it or I can bring it down just so that I can create that look like this. So I'm going to go ahead and hang on to that branch just for now. However, what I want to do is to create a uh, finer ramification. So in order to do that, we do have to cut back some of these branches. This would actually also uh, change the height of the tree. Just like that. And at the moment, I'm actually not going to cut back just too much because I do see some actual uh, finer branches growing in some places. And I feel like there is really no need to cut all the way back. Notice how, like right here, I do cut uh, just above the branches just because I want to avoid some die back. And I don't want any of these branches to die with it. So right here, I've actually decided to keep this branch right over here. This can actually serve as a sacrificing branch uh, to thicken this one over here, as well as maybe defining another height of the tree. Uh, maybe I can have it about this height right here, or I can actually grow it just a little bit taller. It all depends. Uh, but for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and keep it since it's actually not on the way at all. I had already cut down these branches, like right over here. And this, like I said, will help out coming up with some finer branches in the future. When pruning back your bonsai, uh, you do want to keep in mind that even though you're cutting back right here and it looks a little bit drastic, um, it's actually good for the tree because you do want to be able to stimulate new growth. So although it seems like it's really drastic, it's not. You actually are helping the plant. All right, so at this point, we're going to start the wiring process. And like always, we're going to wire two branches with one wire. At this point, I'm using a three millimeter thickness of wire. And we're going to be working from the bottom to the top. As you have noticed, I'm actually using the same exact uh, toolkit that I purchased on Amazon. If you have not seen the toolkit review, I'm going to have a link right over here. Otherwise, we're going to continue wiring this tree. All right, so right here, I do have the wire. And like always, you do want to... Uh, avoid putting too much pressure on the branch that's why you need to always use your thumb and be careful with all these little fine branches that are growing on the tree you don't want to damage any potential branches that can be used for the design all right so my main branch splits off right here therefore I'm gonna cut off just right there now we're gonna go ahead and get some thin copper wire and with these what I'll be doing is I'm going to be wiring the finer branches again getting two branches with one wire this. I do have this right here and on the picture that I've drawn I do have this branch right over here coming in this direction and then this one lower ranges slightly like that like I said as soon as this branch grows a little bit more I'm going to be actually repositioning just a slightly However, we're going to continue working to the top. All right, so now that I'm over here, I do have this little branch right here. This is going to be my new leading branch. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these ones off from right here. We're going to be developing uh, new branches at this point, And then we're going to have uh, some other ones growing from here on. So I'm going to wait until this one's right here become a little bit more mature. And I'm going to start cutting back so that I can have finer ramifications. Um, so as soon as I see some branches splitting off from over here, I'll be cutting off. So moving to the top. All right, so now that we have cut back over here, what we want to do is that we do want to wire these branches right here and then figure out which ones we're going to be using for ours. 
So in this sketch, I actually had a um, mark like somewhere around here that I was actually going to cut off some branches in order to come up with the ramification that I needed. However, some of these branches already have uh, those little finer branches that I need. So I won't be necessarily cutting off at this point like I have it on the piece of paper. But what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be wiring these branches in order to come up with the same design that I have shown right over here. So we're going to use the same process as we did in the bottom where we grab our thin wire and we proceed on wiring these two branches like over here. Moving in this wire right over here. You may lose some flowers on the way there, however that is completely okay since there's tons of new buds in this little bush and I'm pretty sure that new flowers will be coming in soon as the spring approaches. Alright, so now that we are at this point right here, we can actually proceed in bending this branch slightly as much as we can. We have to keep in mind that we do have a lot of wood right here, so we don't want to put too much pressure on the branch because we do risk breaking it off. You always want to put pressure on the wire, not on the branch itself. This will prevent some really bad damage, just like that. Now on this picture right here, I also have this branch right over here bending slightly this way. So I'm also going to proceed and bending this branch just a bit. If you feel like you need to twist to get those branches in position, you can also just hang on to the wire and slightly twist. As I'm working with this tree, I'm actually noticing how good it smells. Alright, so this is where I was talking about. The fact that I already have lots of branches in the position that I needed them from the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to be cutting too much over here. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to be just focusing on the top. So as soon as I'm finished wiring the top, we're going to be proceeding and cutting some other branches that we don't necessarily need. Focusing more on the ramification of the tree and also uh, now that some of these branches are in position, now I can actually see which other branches I get to keep and which other branches I get to remove. The space from between these two branches is a little bit too close and I do want some new branches growing over here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back just right there. Always make sure that you're looking at your tree from all angles that way you don't cut off the wrong one. We do have this branch right here coming in in this direction and I do have these two branches splitting off from right here as well as this one. So we're going to go ahead and remove this one right here. Right over here, I really don't need this branch right here because I do have this one. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be getting rid of this one right here since that's also covering our main branch. Alright, so just from the straight point of view right here, uh, we can see that also in the picture, um, we did decide to keep this branch over here and then we are expecting some new growth over here and some final ramification right at the top. Moving on to this side over here. I decided to keep some of these little branches just so that I could create a little more of a thickness in the trunk. And then moving up to over here, I decided to keep this branch where I cut off a few of the branches so that I could create a final ramification right at this point. This branch right here, what it's going to do is that it's going to propagate new branches and then we're going to fill in this space right here. This one is going to come up just like this. And as soon as we have some new growth over here, we're going to be uh, facing this one right over here, just like that. So as I continue to remove the roots from the pot, I noticed that I did have my marker right over here. So what I'm going to do in this situation is that I'm going to just simply add it just like this by the root base so that I know exactly where my front is. And then I'm going to proceed and separating the roots from the pot. All right, so we do have some really nice healthy roots and we're just going to go ahead and get right up the top portion just to expose as much of the trunk as possible. 
I do want to cut off just about right over here. So for that, I can actually use my root pruners. If you have a small saw, that actually helps a lot too. All right. So there you go. We have successfully removed the bottom portion of it. So it slightly matches the depth of the pot, which is actually good. Uh, I do want to keep as many roots as possible. And in order to keep this secure, what we're going to do is that we're going to use some of the wire to anchor this nice little tree to the pot. And then we're going to use this wire to anchor it to the pot. All right. I do want to add some of my fertilizer. We want to be able to cover those exposed um, roots because we don't want them to dry. And after we're done adding that nice thin layer, we'll be finished with our product. Alright folks, so now that we're done with the wiring process and also the branch selection, we're left off with this. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any thoughts or concerns, also go ahead and comment down below. Otherwise, I'll leave you right here with the before and after. Till next time.